All right, we are on day two. Here we go. Yesterday, we went over the different ways that you could do a book review. Remember talking about your opinions, right? So we did where the wild things are yesterday, and we talked about a book review on the characters, right? Today, we are going to do the koala who could, and you just heard Mrs. Houslot in reading that to you, right? So in our book review, we are going to be reviewing, or I'm sorry, doing a book review on the characters again. We're gonna do two days of characters because sometimes there are lots of characters in a book, just like the wild thing. There were two different, well, there was lots of characters, right? But there was Max and then there was all the wild things. So in the koala who could, we're going to focus on the character, the koala, all right? So in our book review, when we talk about whether we like it, we think it's okay or we don't like it, remember who are we only talking about? Yes, the koala, all right? So we need the title of the book. We need our opinion on the character, the koala, right? And then we need to give a reason to support our opinion, okay? So go ahead and grab out your, um, book review packet and a pencil and crayons. Don't use marker. Why should we not use marker? What happens? Yeah, it goes straight through the page, okay? So go ahead and get those things. Press the pause button if you do not have them yet. Otherwise, I'm gonna pull mine up and we will get started. All right, we are not doing where the wild things are today. Okay. Hopefully everybody is able to see my screen. Your name should be on the top. If you have not already, go ahead and grab out your pencil and we will write the title all together. Now, the title is The Koala Who Could. Right? So do you think that when you're writing that that's going to be able to fit on your line? Because if it's not, you're going to have to write a little bit smaller. Okay, here we go. Let's get your pencils ready. The T-H-E finger space koala K-O-A-L-A -A space who W H O space could C O U L D the koala who could. Now pause it if you need a little bit more time in order to spell out the title. Otherwise, give me a thumbs up when you are ready. You might be able to hear the dogs right now, they are snoring underneath my feet. All right, the koala who could. Think about the character. The character is the koala that we're gonna focus on right now. Now, the character, do you like the character in the book, The Koala Who Could? Do you think the character was just okay? Or did you not like the character very much? I want you to think, show me with your thumbs your opinion. I'm going to take a look and see which one has the most votes. Ooh. Wow, I'm still waiting for a few of you. Keep your fingers up so I can see. Oh, there we go. All right. And the winner, well, not really the winner because it's just an opinion, right? But most of you said that you did like it. Now, here's again. If you chose to not like it, is that okay? Everyone should be saying yes, that is okay, all right? But go ahead and color in the circle that you chose to do a book review on their character. Make sure you're coloring it in crayon, right? All right, go ahead, 
draw your favorite part of the book and then you will write your opinion. Now, before you start drawing your favorite part and writing your opinion, let's talk about drawing your favorite part. Who needs to be included in your favorite part of the book or your not favorite part of the book? What character needs to be included? The koala. Now, is it a purple koala? No. Is the koala all in pencil? No. You need to make sure that you are actually drawing the koala that is in the book. If you don't remember, could you go back and listen to Mrs. Houselot in reading the book again to you? Yes, you could. All right, so you will draw your favorite part or the part that you did not like because of the character of the koala. Then you're gonna go down. You will either write, I liked it because, remember talking about the koala, or I did not like it because, talking about the koala. So for example, I could say, I liked it because the koala started to become brave. And I like it when characters are brave. Or you could say, I did not like it because the koala wasn't brave at all in the beginning. Okay? It's your choice, but make sure you have your opinion and why to support your opinion, okay? If you need help, remember you can always Zoom Mrs. D words, or if it's in my, um, if my hours are up, you can do me as well, all right? Okay. Can't wait to see it in Seesaw.